Hi, Dr. Wong. I'm here at the Monoline Fire Department to present my senior project. I decided to do my senior project on the public protection classification process done by Insurance Service Offices uh, Incorporated. And I decided to do my senior project in this because I was an intern at the Monoline Fire Department in the summer of 2012. They requested I help them gather information and help them through this process um, to make it easier for them. Uh, the, the importance of PPC will be discussed. I will also discuss uh, how a survey is conducted um, and three main categories that they look at when they come to a department and how they conduct themselves. Uh, so we'll get started. Some background information, um, ISO is an independent uh, organization. They provide insurance companies and fire departments with uh, information about risk and they'll uh, gather information about departments. There are uh, three main categories to look at is the fire alarms, which is dispatch center or communications um, system. There are fire stations and the water supply um, to the community. and uh, to the fire department itself. The PPC process uh, mainly improves protection capabilities for the fire department, helps them uh, improve themselves, improve their fire department, and preventing property loss and property damage, and most importantly, uh, saving lives. Fires are still the single most um, damaging uh, in property property loss, and they have caused 120 billion dollars in property damage or insurance losses in the last decade. PPC evaluations are done throughout 46,000 communities around the country, and they seek to improve fire protection services of the community. Scheduling the survey, uh, one thing ISO can do is they'll send out a community uh, outreach questionnaire, which will be sent to the department or uh, official there. It's sent out every two years. Um, it asks for changes in fire protection capabilities. Uh, they review the information um, that the fire department puts together. Also, communities can contact ISO to let them know that their PPC is out of date or that they've made changes to their fire protection. When a survey is initiated by ISO, they will send out a field representative. Uh, they'll send out a letter as well, letting them know um, that they're going to come, and uh, they'll give them an advancement like a few weeks before they come out or uh, the set date. And uh, they'll send out a, or they'll call the fire department and let them know uh, that they're coming for sure. Uh, preparing for the survey, a uh, pre-survey packet is sent to the fire department um, a few weeks before the ISO representative gets there. This packet needs to be uh, filled out. It has uh, forms and information in it that need to be uh, updated and filled out by the senior official from the fire department or the village. Uh, it contains questions about their fire suppression resources and um, other things such as their commercial buildings. The initial visit uh, will uh, discuss the um, survey, uh, the procedure of how the survey is going to be carried out for the um, community. They'll collect the forms and information that was uh, sent out earlier and make an appointment uh, with the senior official to discuss the inclusion of the survey towards the end of um, their visit. The alarm survey, which is the first section that they'll take a look at, which is the uh, dispatch center or 911 uh, system. They'll uh, look at um, a few things will review the um, 
overall uh, dispatch center, and they'll meet with the official who is in charge of uh, the 911 um, call center. They'll review communica uh, communication center, uh, how they operate, their procedures, uh, equipment for uh, power supply, the backup power supply, uh, as well as their um, alarm facilities. They'll request information regarding uh, backup uh, dispatch units so that they don't break communication between firefighters and dispatch um, through calls or if power goes out and uh, the overall system operation. Fire department survey, uh, which is the second section, uh, the field representative will interview the fire chief, if not already done so. Uh, the field representative will go to each fire station, the training grounds, or possibly any other area that they might want to look at um, that's of interest uh, to the PPC program or the survey. During the second category, they'll review uh, the fire stations, their apparatus, um, how many they have, um, are they adequate enough for the water supply, which is discussed later on. Uh, they'll do they'll look at drills and training records, uh, look at their tools, equipment, and uh, check on fire response and their uh, manpower as well. Water supply, which is the third section. Uh, the ISO field representative will interview the official responsible for the water department, uh, water utility, and the private water companies that supply the community. This will usually be uh, public works, public works um, and the public works representative will speak with the ISO representative Rep. For the water supply survey, uh, you can expect a, a review of public works, their documents and records, uh, needed fire flows, hydrant flow tests, um, the request information on water mains, new supply or storage facilities. Uh, they'll Make sure that they check hydrants to make that they're working properly. They'll do this at random. They'll choose a few uh, hydrants throughout the community and make sure that they're working properly. After they conduct these three major categories, there's, uh, they'll have a conclusion. The uh, ISO representative will meet back with the uh, head official from the community to uh, have a brief meeting. Uh, they'll review the collected information and if any other questions uh, or information needs to be shared between the two, they'll do this so at this time. But this time, the um, results, final results, and final PPC will not be revealed. The ISO representative will then uh, leave and head back to headquarters where he'll conduct the calculations and put together the PPC rating for the community. This could take up to a few months uh, possibly a year, depending on how large the uh, city is or community. Uh, they'll have a summary of the hydrant flow tests, uh, grading results, and uh, suggestions for improvement as well. If there's any questions, you can email me or look at my report or paper. Thank you very much, Dr. Wong.